Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we have this statement from Ninjago series co-creator Tommy Andreessen regarding the end of Ninjago Crystallized, the future, and what his plans are moving forward. Tommy Andreessen dropped a pretty big bombshell here over on his Twitter account. There's a lot to talk about right here, so I figured what we could do in today's video is just simply read through it. As a day one Ninjago fan, I've already read a little bit of this and it made me tear up a little bit. Um, um, yeah, I think this needs to be read on camera in a video. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Uh, feel free to follow Tommy Andreessen over on Twitter if you have not done so already. And let's go ahead and read through this together, shall we? Uh, remarkable. As you are aware, Crystallized is the end of the current Ninjago era. We set out to make a season which would conclude the storyline and the show we have been producing since 2019, but also reflect on what started in 2011 as a whole. We wanted to bring it full circle and draw on lore and characters from Ninjago's entire run. This will also be the end of my involvement with the Ninjago series. I have considered myself a caretaker of Ninjago since 2011, but I am attached to projects which require me to dedicate all my time. I held on for a long time, but Crystallize seemed like an appropriate time for me to let go. It was important for me, personally, to end this era of Ninjago in a way which was unapologetically positive and hopeful. No anger, no bitterness, cynicism, and no regrets. I love these characters dearly and have spent as much time with them as I have with my actual children. I think they deserved a happy ending, and I feel confident that my nine years old self would agree. The intention was also to allow certain aspects to be up to individual interpretation and leave the door open for others to build on Ninjago and the characters. I hope you are excited about the opportunities which it provides. A ninja never quits, but a wise ninja knows when their mission has come to an end, and this is it for me. I will mostly cease my Ninjago related activities here on Twitter, I will finish a few writing projects and maybe post the occasional drawing, but I won't be engaging in conversations about Ninjago's future. I think it's important that the new series and the creative team find a voice of their their own and get to speak for themselves. I have very limited knowledge of what they are up to, but Ninjago is in capable hands with good friends and colleagues of mine, and I look forward to experiencing whatever creativity, canon, twist, and turns they choose to add. I am quite looking forward to, for the first time in my life, being able to put my feet up and watch a Ninjago episode where I have no idea what will happen. I will also cease answering questions regarding past Ninjago seasons. Since Ninjago is no longer my sandbox to play in, and I can no longer add to the canon, I don't want to provide speculation or information which may contradict any lore Ninjago's new creative team and show may establish. Also, I'm sure the LEGO Ninjago team will find clever ways to fill whatever void my absence in the Ninjago community may cause. I will be answering one last round of questions on Twitter in a few weeks from now. I will let you know when. I would like to express a big heartfelt thank you to all the amazing collaborators throughout the years, too many to mention. You elevated a fragile idea and made it something special. Also, a great thanks to all Ninjago fans who have stuck by us since the beginning and those who have joined along the way. Together, we made it last and it became something truly remarkable and beautiful. I am excited and a little anxious to see what life beyond Ninjago means for me. Thank you for playing. Signed, Tommy Andreessen, 10th of October, 2022. So that's a lot to take in. Uh, as a day one Ninjago fan reading through this entire thing, wow, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tommy Andreessen, for giving us the Ninjago that we know and sticking by it all these years. You are a fantastic individual, and I only wish the best for you moving forward. As a day one Ninjago fan, and it's honestly really hard to imagine what my life would have been like if Ninjago had not been there for me. Ninjago means a lot to me as a person. I've been a Ninjago fan since I was about 11 years old. It's been with me for many, many years at this point, and I've built my entire YouTube career around this series. This series means a lot to me, and Tommy Andreessen, you've opened a lot of areas of opportunity for me as well. Like I said, this is my job. Talking about Ninjago for a living, that is something that I never thought I would ever be able to do, but you've made that possible. The Ninjago series series has made that possible for me to talk about Ninjago, talk about what I love, for a living. This is what I love doing. I love doing YouTube videos, and like I said, Ninjago's been a part of me for many years. It's hard to imagine what my life would be like if Ninjago had not been there for me. I still remember when I first watched the pilot episodes for the first time all those many years ago, saw these characters for the first time, fell in love with this world, with this series, I bought the sets, watched the show religiously, and every single season has always given me some type of draw to come back. I've never once decided that Ninjago wasn't for me anymore. I've been here for years, and as a day one Ninjago, fan reading this statement from Tommy Andreessen. I gotta admit, it hits pretty close to home. It hits really hard. This is something that, you know, has been a part of me for years now. And like I said, and many times now, 
I just can't imagine my life without Ninjago. Fortunately, Ninjago will still be continuing. Don't get my words twisted here. Ninjago will still be continuing like Tom Andreessen said, but it's just going to be under a completely different team, which on paper might sound pretty scary to some Ninjago fans, but fear not. Ninjago is in very trusted hands like Tom Andreessen said. I don't think we have anything to worry about regarding the future of Ninjago. It's still going to be canon from what I can see right here. He just won't have any direct involvement with it, and I can respect that. Like I said though, this certainly does seem like the end of an era, and it's kind of surreal to think that Ninjago Crystallized marked off a huge turning point for the series. But looking back on everything that came before, I am so happy that this story was able to be told. This story deserved to be out there, and as Ninjago fans, I feel like we should be very, very grateful towards what Tom Andreessen did here, what he's done throughout the past several years, and everyone else on the Ninjago team as well. This world is fantastic. Ninjago always gives me a reason to come back. I love revisiting the series every day when I go to do a video. It's something that I love doing. I love talking about Ninjago. I love making videos on this subject because it's something that I love personally quite a bit. Ninjago might not be my favorite thing ever, but it is certainly one of the things that kept me going. Ninjago has always been there for me. Ninjago kept the wheels turning. Thank you, Tommy Andreessen, for being a part of the Ninjago community. Thank you for bringing fans together. Thank you for keeping fans here. Thank you for always giving fans a reason to come back. And like I said, I wish you nothing but good fortune and good luck moving forward. I might be going in circles here, guys, but honestly, I feel like I still have a lot to say. I feel like I still need to give my gratitude towards the series. I feel like I still need to talk about how much I love this show, how much it means to me, how much the sets mean to me, how much the characters mean to me. This entire world is just crazy. It's, it's crazy that this plastic Lego world with ninjas and elemental powers and snake people is able to hook me in so much, but that's just why I love it. Ninjago's weird. Ninjago's awesome in all the right ways, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be a Ninjago fan. I'll just say that much. Even though I'm in my early 20s right now, I may not be a part of Ninjago Ninjago's core demographic anymore, I still find myself always coming back to this series, and I will still come back to this series into the future. I am not done with this show. I am very much looking forward to seeing what Ninjago 2023 has in store, even though it's going to be a new show, new direction, uh, same canon, same characters, same all of that. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It seems like Ninjago is going to be continuing stronger than ever, and I'm excited to see what the future of Ninjago brings. Once again, though, huge thank you to Tommy Andreessen. You're the best. Wish you nothing but good luck moving forward, and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what you think of this statement, what you think about the future of Ninjago moving forward, now that we know a little bit more about what's going on, at least in terms of like a general sense, like I said, and uh, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Uh, I've, I've basically, you know, taken up enough of your time. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again really soon. Peace. Bye.